Human actions and natural processes are destroying our fragile earth and the web of ecosystems that share our common home. Greenhouse gases, pollution, clearing forests, overhunting, and our growing human population are just a few of the detrimental human impacts causing climate change. While the devastating nature of climate change is obvious in individual ecosystems, patterns emerge when it is viewed holistically. Humans both directly and indirectly interact with their environment. By running factories and cars and by dumping or burning waste, we pollute our atmosphere. Humans contribute greatly to deforestation by consuming enormous amounts of wood and paper products and by clearing forests for lumber or living space, or cattle ranches. These seemingly small human actions have an enormous effect on our fragile earth. Pollution also has a huge impact on ecosystems, especially coral reefs, as chemical wastes increase ocean acidity and create a toxic environment that kills coral. To emphasize the impact that humans have on the earth, let's follow the actions of one person in his daily life. This is Donald. Every day he forgets to turn the lights off in his house before going to work. Little does he know this contributes to the CO2 output of factories. As Donald leaves his lights on, power plants burn more coal in order to provide the electricity his lights require. These power plants emit dangerous gases into the Earth's atmosphere, called greenhouse gases. The accumulation of these gases, including carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases, build up in the ozone layer. In moderation, these gases help keep the Earth warm due to a process known as the greenhouse effect. However, as humans continue to emit more and more of these gases, the buildup of gases is trapping more heat, thus warming the average temperature of Earth and contributing to climate change. Since ice caps are white, they reflect all of the sun's light back into the Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, Earth's rapidly increasing temperatures are causing more masses of ice to melt. On the oceans, this melted ice exposes more of the ocean's surface. Consequently, more of the heat is absorbed due to the ocean's dark blue color. As the ocean heats up, it causes ice caps to melt from below in addition to the increased melting on the surface. When ice caps freeze, they trap greenhouse gases that are present at the time. This means that as Earth's ice caps melt, they emit greenhouse gases from long ago. As ice melts in increasingly large quantities, these gases are emitted in proportional amounts. These forces are quickly decreasing the size of our ice caps, thereby diminishing our planet's equilibrium since Arctic ice caps are crucial in cooling down the planet and preventing it from overheating. Due to the global ocean conveyor belt, temperature changes in Arctic oceans cause changes across all the Earth's oceans. Warmer water at the ocean's surface globally leads to an increase in the number of hurricanes and the amount of destruction they cause. The moisture content of such storms and others is increased, leading to more drastic wet and dry spells across the globe. The melting of ice caps has a negative effect around the Earth. Furthermore, melting ice caps also mean that many animals' homes are being destroyed. Polar bears, for example, are forced to swim much longer distances between patches of ice, causing some of them to be overcome with exhaustion and drown before they can reach the next ice flow. Remember Donald? He also contributes to deforestation by supporting fast food companies who clear forests in South America in order to raise cows for beef. Humans are one of the main causes for deforestation because they want to urbanize more land and make it available for cattle ranches. As more forests are being destroyed for Donald's burgers, the number of trees is decreasing drastically, meaning that less CO2 is being taken out of our atmosphere and converted to oxygen via photosynthesis. Furthermore, cows produce methane, another greenhouse gas, so South America's mass deforestation and replacement with cattle farms has a compound effect on the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. This increase in CO2 contributes to global warming and the melting of ice caps, thereby causing a paradigm shift in weather. Deforestation not only affects climate change, but can affect species that live in that habitat. The destruction of trees ruins natural habitats for species, which can lead to an overall extinction of some species. Donald never carpools, which contributes to the CO2 output and pollution of oceans and coral reefs from fuel emissions. These actions pollute coral and its reefs. Oil spills pollute coral environments and threaten or kill the animals that make coral their home. Additionally, the pollution and carbon dioxide gas emitted by cars and factories increases the acidity and temperature of oceans, killing the calcium carbonate shells that support coral. In the past 30 years, coral populations in the Caribbean alone have decreased by 80%. It's predicted that coral will disappear completely by 2100. Coral reef destruction increases the presence of CO2 in our atmosphere, as coral utilizes CO2 for photosynthesis. Killing coral increases the vulnerability of coastal regions during extreme weather events because they form a breakwater that protects against violent storms and floods. 